Alright, uh, here I'm going to do a uh, replay, a uh, Zerg vs. Terran uh, win. Um, so I'm Zerg, here's Terran, and this is two challenger map. Um, right on the onset, Zerg, what you want to do is every time a drone is done, you're going to have him go on a different mineral, okay? You can see the other guy. He didn't do that. All his SCVs went to the same mineral. All right, so when you're facing Terran and you know that you're facing Terran, there's a couple things that you want to do. The first thing you do is you know you're going to go lurkers. Probably get just going to go lurkers. So, all right, so we're going to speed it up a little bit. Fastest. And to see what I do, all right? I'm going straight for nine, nine supply. And let's see what I get here. Um, you can see I have a lot more actions per minute. Am I gonna make an overlord? And I'm sending my overlord to this island here. Uh, this is two challenger map, if I didn't already say it. Okay, so I'm going a creep and an evolution chamber, and then I create two drones. I cancel those, and I put those immediately back to mining. You can see, see one not mining there. Um, let's see, you can only have one drone mining per mineral at a time. So the amount of drones you have on a low mineral map such as this is two drones per mineral and then three at your... There, it looks like he's coming to scout me. He's got a bear scaling up. Alright, we got my overlord. And I'm going to go straight for a second hatchery, it looks like. Here he is scouting. Looking to see if I expand by that second gas. But no. Now you have to be very... I guess I put it right there. I think what I should have probably done maybe is put it here, but I put it there. And you can see I put my spawning pool here which is a very good location because you want like a line, a wall. You can't make a wall, you know, there's no place to wall here. I mean, that's just too far to travel in too long of a time. So you make a wall out of your hatchery. So then I'll put a spawning pool here, or not a spawning pool, a creep here, maybe a creep here, and maybe one over here. He's going to uh, double barracks, looks like. He's got his second supply depot up. He's got some... Uh, Marines out. Let's go for that fastest times two. This is taking too long. All right, so I got some Zergs. We need a little bit of defense. So now I'm sending a drone out here. Uh, where am I going? I'm scouting to see because he did scout me so I'm like hey did he put his SCV somewhere? Is he building something? Looks like he has it hiding over here to scout me again. Um, now I'm sending some zerglings out. I'm going to scout the map see if he's got any expansions if he's pulling some weird stuff. I don't know what he's doing yet but you can see I sent each overlord to these islands. Uh, those are my favorite place to expand because they have both minerals and gas in one spot and it's safe from any type of ground assault. Um, he's got a bunch of marines ready here. Um, I'm gonna put a, looks like I'm, I don't know if I scouted him. Let's see what I'm doing here. Okay, I'm placing a, I think I scouted him and he killed me and I put a zergling right there. He killed the zergling, so now I'm thinking, okay, He's probably coming to try to attack me. I only have a bunch of Zerglings. I have a couple Hydralisks, but I am going Lurkers. Uh, with Terran, you always want to just go straight up Lurkers. They just kick butt. 
Now I'm sitting here waiting for him. Okay, that just confirmed that he's coming to attack. As you can see, I split up my Zerglings. Uh, I have no defenses. Now I just have to be ready for his assault. He went to check the expansion. That's much needed time. So he's going to attack one group. I'm going to flank him from the side, and then I'm going to send him my Hydralisks. There it is. All three sides, so he cannot retreat. That was just a massacre. Um, he's getting a starboard. I don't know what he's doing here. Uh, he does have a tank. He's got plenty of uh, SCVs. Um, I'm going for the counterattack. I don't have any lurkers yet, but I did research it, I believe. So here's some lurkers being made. He does have some tanks. He has no detection. Alright, now I'm going to burrow. So that's what you're hoping for when you get lurkers. That they have no detection. So I'll send in my Zerglings as a distraction. Move my Lurkers in by his minerals. Burrow. And he is done. I know he's trying to build a tank. He's done. He's probably going to be. So that's what you do versus Perrin. If you get um, a Zerg. If you try to get Lurkers early. And there he is. He's left. So you get Lurkers. Try to get him in there. You can do a lurker drop on his minerals. Um, if that doesn't work and he's tearing, uh, you probably get some mutalisks and harass him a little bit while you're still amassing your army. But the main goal is to get lurkers before he gets uh, a good amount of detection. And usually Terrans don't get that detection early enough. Um, and even if he had a detection, I just had enough units to just straight up in a one-on-one -on -one, just to straight up storm his uh, storm his base, and I didn't have a we didn't have any expansions or anything there, so that's how I do uh, Zerg vs Terran. <laughs>